This is going to sound like Sesame Street, but it's really about keyboard shortcuts and errors. Let's get started with the J key. So right now we're in the library module, and I'm just going to tap the J key to cycle through what my thumbnails have in terms of information and metadata at the top and bottom. So if you notice up here right now, I'm in the expanded view, and I have as much information as possible. I can see my flag, my red uh, marker. I also have a red marker down here. This is starred. And if I tap the J key once, you'll see that now I see no information other than my red marker that uh, runs around my image area. And if I tap J one more time, it will cycle through to showing me an index number, my flag, my file number, my red marker, and some stars. One more time, I tap J. It's going to give me that expanded view, just like that. And now I've gone through all three versions, where I have expanded view, the compact view, and basically no information at all. Now I'm going to go to the develop module and tap the same J key, and you'll see what's going to happen to my picture is all of a sudden I've turned on my highlight and shadow clipping. And sometimes my students call me and say, I don't know what's wrong. And essentially, this is just Lightroom showing you areas that are underexposed and areas that are overexposed, and that's all it is. It's not part of your picture. So tapping the J key one more time will turn it off. On with your clipping, off with the clipping. On and off. So that's the J key in the develop module. Turns on and off your highlight and shadow clipping. And in the library module, tapping the J key will cycle you through your different view options. So now, let's take a look at how you're going to see information when you're looking at your image in loop view. I'm going to tap the E key for loop view, or the space bar, and I'm going to get a full frame view of my capture. You'll notice up at the top left, I can see metadata that I set up in my view options earlier. And if I tap the I key, once I get a different version that I've set up. So I have two options, and that's going to be in my View Options dialog, which is in my earlier blog post. And if I tap the I one more time, I hide the View Options completely so that I can look at my image without any distractions. Now, this keyboard shortcut works in both the Develop module and in the Library module in the Loop View. Finally, Let's take a look at the L key. Here's a keyboard command that's consistent throughout all the modules in Lightroom. However, I discovered this a long time ago by just dumbing out and tapping L, thinking I was going to the library instead of tapping the G key. L stands for lights out, and tapping the L key once will bring you to a featured image against a dark gray background, and tapping it a second time will bring you to a black background. The third tap brings you back to your standard view. And this will work in your grid view, tapping it once, dark gray, tapping it a second time, black, and a third time back to your standard view. And it will work in every module, in loop view, in develop, map, book, slideshow, doesn't matter. You're always going to get a lights out view by tapping the L key. And remember, the L key doesn't bring you to the library. It brings you to lights out mode. And so that's it for keyboard commands J, I, and L. And this is not Sesame Street, but it is Lightroom Guy. Thanks for watching.